Hello and welcome to the Holistic Psychiatrist Podcast, where we are building well-being from the thought up and healing is a miraculous, joyful journey. I'm your host, Dr. Alice Lee, the Holistic Psychiatrist practicing in Lehigh, Utah. Welcome. I'm excited to provide a podcast for all the patients and their family members, as well as all those who want to avoid being a patient who are looking for a holistic perspective on healing from mental illness. I believe that we can create mental health from the thought up. What do I mean by that? I mean that there are many natural, holistic, and integrative approaches and tools to help individuals restore their mental health, not just another prescription medication. And I mean that we can use these tools in functional and energy medicine to help people heal completely and stop being a patient. There's no need for stigma that currently hangs over mental illness. And this show is all about helping you understand why and how to help you to get there. Here's a little bit about me. I'm a child, adolescent, and adult psychiatrist, and I began my training at the University of Utah Medical School. That was four years of medical school, and then I went on to the University of Maryland, where I did four years of my adult psychiatry residency training. After that, I went to the Children's National Medical Center in Washington, D.C., and I did two more years of training in child psychiatry. After I finished my fellowship training, I went into both private practice and I worked with the University of Maryland College campus. And I worked for another eight years as an allopathic psychiatrist, honing my skills in both psychotherapy and psychopharmacology before I was even introduced to the idea of a holistic approach. This introduction began in 2002, and my journey has been now 18 years along this path of holistic approaches and helping patients get off their medication safely and easily. But even before I began my holistic journey, I had personal experiences in my life that motivated me to be open to a holistic approach. My own journey began in 1991 when a training psychiatrist felt that it was appropriate for me to begin a small dose of an antidepressant. I was suffering from stress during the residency training, and he thought that an antidepressant would help alleviate that stress. So I began taking a small dose of Zoloft. Now, after I began using this medication, he left me on this medication for five years. And in 1996, that was when I thought to myself, you know, I've been on this medication for five years. I should just stop it. And when I did, I encountered horrible withdrawal symptoms. I didn't understand initially what I was encountering, what those experiences, the depressive symptoms really were about. And it took me a while before I finally figured out a way for me to stop taking that medication safely. My own personal struggles set the foundation for my desire to be an advocate for each patient who wants to come off their medication safely. And over these last 18 years, I've gathered many skills and techniques and approaches that do just that. Before I end today, I want to introduce you to a very simple energy medicine technique. It's a mindfulness technique, a guided visualization that can really help people to feel more calm and serene. It's actually very similar to an old Tibetan meditation. And if you're open to it, we can start today sharing this technique with you. I call it energy breaths. You can find it on my website under the information tab. When you go to the information tab, scroll down to energy medicine techniques, you'll find energy breaths listed as one of the techniques. There is a long version, which is less than three minutes, and there's a short version that is less than one minute. And you can simply click on it and listen to it, and it'll run you through that whole technique. This is a technique that I ask my patients to listen to or do twice per day. It allows them to have extra energy, help them to feel calmer, and facilitates their ability to come off medications more easily. So let's go ahead and begin with making yourself comfortable. Go ahead and sit back and just take some nice, deep, relaxed belly breaths. Take about five seconds to breathe in and five seconds to breathe out. Allow your mind to focus on that breath so you can clear your mind of distractions. Now let's just go ahead and play with your imagination. Imagine that you have light, light within you and all around you. We're going to let this light represent or symbolize this idea of perfect energy. 
perfect energy that is full of unconditional love, peace, joy, truth, creativity, strength, harmony, balance, goodness, mercy, forgiveness, health, wholeness, purity, abundance, courage, freedom, order, beauty, space, and time. You can think of this energy as coming from a pure, perfect, and infinite source. And we're going to set an intention to be one with this infinite source of energy. We can think of this energy as called life energy. You can call it any name you want to give it, but it's just the idea of a perfect and infinite source of energy. Now, as you think about that connection or being one with this infinite source, let it help you at all levels of your being, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, and socially, and through space and time in your past, present, and future. As you breathe in, think about bringing that energy in with your breath. And as you breathe out, think about releasing any blockages to this perfect energy. Imagine your light getting stronger and brighter. You can also imagine, if you can, a river that is filled with life energy. And let that river symbolize your life as it flows through time, from the past to the present and onward to the future. And just set an intention that life energy will flow into your river of life, giving this additional beautiful light and energy to help support and heal you. And set a very clear intention that even when you're not doing this technique, the life energy will continue to flow into your river of life over the next 24 hours, even when you're not doing this technique. Go ahead and visualize your river of life getting stronger, brighter, and being filled with life energy. And when you feel that you're ready, go ahead and open up your eyes. This is a simple technique, but very powerful. And my patients love doing it because it brings a greater sense of serenity and calm into their day. But what I love about this technique as a holistic psychiatrist is it's a great way to add to the positive energy in your life, and it can have positive biological effects in your ability to heal. I hope you've enjoyed this meditation. If you've enjoyed what I just shared, I hope you'll subscribe to my podcast, where I hope to share interviews, important techniques, patient vignettes, stories about my experiences as a holistic psychiatrist relevant insights, and new chapters in my upcoming book. Please also take a look at my website, holisticpsychiatrist.com, where I share relevant information on a weekly basis. I'm on YouTube under Holistic Psychiatrist and on social media as well. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you'll be back next time. The content provided by this podcast is for informational purposes only and has not been approved by the US FDA. This podcast is not intended to provide personal medical advice, which should be obtained from a medical professional.